Hey lovers, welcome back again to another episode of my reaction. So today I'm going to be checking out on an amazing video and let's dive into today's reaction. This is the PZH-2000, a German howitzer that is unsurprisingly over-engineered. We'll take a look at the autoloader again in more detail, as well as its full firepower capability. But first, let's look at its mobility. It uses a Wegman chassis, with many components shared with the Leopard 2 tank. It's a tracked system that can hit 70 kilometers an hour to a range of 420 kilometers. It achieves that with a 990 horsepower engine and utilizes a torsion bar suspension. As for moving its shells around, it has a few tricks. Logistically, it gets some help from one of its friends. In this case, an M992 field artillery and munition supply vehicle, built on the frame of an M109. In terms of its autoloader, it's quite a feat of engineering. Taking a look at the full process again, its rounds are loaded through the back across a swinging mechanism, which brings the shell into the internal magazine. This magazine can store 60 rounds of different types, using a loading arm to sort the shells in one of 15 columns. A shell can be selected and brought out through a feeding tray into the cabin, where it is automatically inserted into the breech. Manual additions of propellant are necessary, and you're all ready. struck by its sheer power and precision is a te testament to a ingenuity and skills of German engineers. Wow! I seriously I am by the engineers and soldiers. This is this is beautiful. As for its firepower capability, it uses a 155mm Rhine metal barrel. It hits an impressive 6 second firing rate to a standard range of 30 kilometers, or an extended range with wraparounds to 54 kilometers. But if you want more accuracy, you can load in an Excalibur and hit out to 48 kilometers guided.
As secondary armament, it features a Rheinmetall MG3 machine gun. It's accessed through a hatch at the top of the howitzer. As with many German military products, it's a popular export. So, who's buying? Italy has purchased 64, the Netherlands 49, Qatar 24, Hungary 23, and of course, Ukraine with 28, but as a donation. So, genius engineering or maintenance hell? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you like our long-form content, make sure to hit the like and the bell to ensure YouTube knows to show you more. Wow. This is incredible. Like, I do watch, I, I do see this in movies when I watch movie. I said this in movie when I watch movies, but I never knew that it has this so much accessibility. It has so much functions and power towards it. Is an this is this is an incredible machine that deserves our respect and admiration. Like I admire this. Wow. Its complexity and the complexity of, of this is a reminder of, of the importance of innovation and precision in modern welfare. Guys, this is beautiful. Wow. This is really a testament. Really, it is. Wow. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. Like, tell me what you think about this on the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time in my next updates. Bye. Wow.